Okay, so finding land is pretty easy. We just have to use an ancient feature that a lot, a lot of people use in Second Life. The search bar! <laughs> so, we use the search bar, and it's going to have a little feature in here called land. So, you got two options. You can put the price or the area. Um... If you know how big of a land plot you want, then you can just auction. Hang on one second. Let me just uncheck that. Just to be sure. Okay. Okay, okay. So they have two items. Price and area. Price, when you put it here, it shows how much money you want to spend. This is good for when you're working within a budget and you want to try to find some cheap land. But you got to be careful because some places will list, um, like, I'll put this down here for price. And I will put 1L, or they'll put it really cheap. And that's just the down payment to start renting the place. So a lot of people will use this as advertisement and it gets you to come to their land and sell. And you don't really want that. You want to really pay attention to what you're doing. So actually, I need to expand this some more so I can show you all the different types so you know what this means. Because all of these look so confusing, don't they? Homestead, breedable, mainland, you know, waterfront. What does all of these things mean? What are these icons? What is this type of land? What is the area? What is this LM? What is all of that? So I'm going to explain it to you real quick because it's pretty simple. So we're going to break it down. These icons on the side are, there are two types of land sales that Second Life engages in. They engage in auctions and they engage in direct sales. When you have something that is a direct sale, you'll see the little price tag on the side. And that means you can just go teleport over there and start, you know, buying it. Now, if it's got a little gavel and hammer on here, that means that this land is up for auction. And you can teleport over there to scope it out and then go on to the Second Life mark, uh, auction site and, uh, you know, place a bid. So, you see, this place is for auction. They'll give you the auction ID. You will type it into the website and then you will place a bid against other people to try to get it. But this is usually where people who see the land, most likely a neighbor, who are trying to buy the land next to them so that they can expand their homestead. One of the jerky things that Second Life likes to do is that if you sometimes are purchasing a large piece of land, depending on the lending really, they'll put it up for auction because they believe that, you know... It's got to be fair to other people around and they're like, yeah, because everybody else wants to buy uh, a jagged hill going off into the ocean, not just me. We got to make this fair for them, too. Uh, so you can do that. But I don't really like auctions for that very reason, because I don't want to be that dream killer. Who knows how long this neighbor was here and they're trying to buy the land next to that and expand out their house. And you're just coming down here like money here. Although one of the joys about auctions is they usually start off with the price of how big the land is. So the size of the land is usually the starting bid. That's how you get cheap land. But we'll come to that in a, you know shortly. So hold on one second. We want sh right now money. We don't want to wait. So let's go up and search for it. So we want direct parcels. I like to try to stay within how much we know land we want to use. I really don't like using price because like I said, people uh, will put one L in here just to get free advertisement. So I like to uncheck the price and I would check on the area and then I would put in 1024 and search it. Now, what you want to do is search for mainland. You don't really want estate because estate means that, yeah, it's got the better support. It's like Second Life Land Premium, but it's almost always owned by a user who is paid for the estate and is selling off little squares of it, which is basically just another rental. You would be paying the down payment and then their rental cost and so on, and that's what a lot of people do. Um, they buy big parts of land and then parcel it off and then sell it like that, and you're renting from the estate. 
um, if they, this is also a good way to buy a full region or something like that if people want. So you just look through here and you see how much people want for it. So this person, full place here, is selling it. Who really? This is a uh, mainland. Oh my god. That's also something you need to keep an eye out for. A lot of people know about the 1024 parcel of free land, so they will price gouge the F out of the land. But it's not like that with all places. It's only some places. So how do we separate it so that it's not mainland? We only see mainland and not state. So we just need to change a little something something. All categories. And we want to change it to it's mainland sales. And then this will show you how much everything costs. Then we want to tap the price twice. And this will show you all the cheap land for getting it. Now, ideally, you want to get a row um, land that is under the size of how much you're selling it for, how much the land is. I guess I'm trying to say um, for a 1024, I would like to pay 1024 and under. But as you see, that's usually not the cost. People are trying to get their money back. They buy a lot of parcels and they try to double it. And they know that people want it for exactly what we're looking for. So you want to keep that in mind. It just depends on how well much you like the area and if you think it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, it's your money. Use it how you want it. <laughs> I'm sorry. People on the east side know that commercial. <laughs> what is that, J.G. Wentworth? Okay, anyway, um, so let's see. Let's try out this place and teleport here. Oof. Now, one of the most annoying things that people do is that they give you these group joiner things, and if you come here, it logs that you were here, and then the person contacts you and asks you, are you still interested in it? And it's like, oh, no, I was just looking at it. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Okay, so this land looks good at first, but we don't know the shape of it. An ideal, perfect place is a place that is a beautiful square. Because you can fit more on squares than you can on jagged parcels. Squares or naked man. Okay. Squares or uh, rectangles. So to check and see the land, you want to right click on the parcel and then a yellow line will show up. This yellow line is the boundary of the sim, and it will show you how much your land will go for. Now, one of the things you feel some the uh, <laughs> my brain died there for a minute. One of the things that happened is uh, someone asked me if I buy this, does that mean that it's in a commercial zone or a residential zone? And the answer to that is whatever you please. Um, only homesteads and places like that, estates. Uh, estate places dictate what they want their neighborhoods to be because you know it's their their sim their region so they get to say what you want on mainland that restriction is not there it is whatever you say it is so if you want to say that this is used for commercial purposes it is used for commercial purposes if you say that it is used for residents it is used for resident and one of the cool things is you can actually break it down yourself if you want to and you can uh, rent out one half of this parcel and like oh that's residential and then commercial right next door and do that for you so it really just depends on whatever the hell you want either you're not restricted to that Thought I'd throw that in there real quick so this sim is actually pretty good it's a really rare nice square parcel there's not a lot of traffic around here, but then again, that could actually be a good thing because, you know, lag and competition. So, not bad. So, if we were to buy this, we would just click buy this land and then it would tell me that, you know, you're a premium member, um, how many objects this place uh, supports. Um, sometimes you can get lucky and find a place that has a land bonus. I don't know what dictates land bonuses or not, but, you know, sometimes some places have it, and this place is actually under cost, so this is something that you would want to look at. So basically, you would just TP around and try to find a place. Now, one of the fun things that you can do is go into... 
abandoned land. So let's just say you scouted all around and... Oh, wait, wait, wait! Go! Bammy! <laughs> okay. Well, that's hella dumb. Anyway. Stupid people and they kick things. <sighs> So, um, like I was saying before I almost got booted back to Resident Island, um, abandoned properties. You know, a lot of people bought uh, land in Second Life and couldn't sell it or quit or moved and they abandoned their properties and there's tons of it around. And that ton of land is just ripe for the picking and it, you can get it at a wonderful rate. So usually, let's see if we can find some abandoned land around. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, also, when you're scanning around on the map and you see some of these, the little heart here, those that means that the places are for sale. Oh, wait, check it. It's an abandoned land right around here. Where did it go? We were here and here. Ah, here we go. Let's teleport over here. Just randomly clicking. Seriously, you can find abandoned land anywhere. Wow. Oof. Okay. So let's say you've stumbled upon an abandoned land. And it's got everything you like. Look, you can see the water from here. And we're not that far from the beach. And I don't want to buy the land that's for sale because that's too expensive. I'm going to take my chances with Linden Labs and pay a more fair rate, which is one meter per square, one L per square meter. So in order to buy abandoned land, you have to first locate abandoned land. Locate it. Okay, abandoned land located. Then you have to take a screenshot of the land and we have to file a ticket with Linden Lab in order for them to come over and then they'll sell it to you. So first things first you need to look at the parcel. Right click on the parcel like we did and then go to about land. It will say that it is an abandoned and it will tell you when it got abandoned and it's owned by Governor Linden and you can't message Governor Linden and say hey I want to buy this land because that's just not how it works. So what you need to do is first find your land and go to the ticket system. So I'm going to go over to help and support. You would think I would notice by now how much land I had to buy. Then you go to land and oh, don't need that. You need to submit a support ticket. Next, you go to land and region and region purchase. Oh, no, 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 no. Region offline, which is a skill. Hey, they changed it. It used to be. Community gateway application. Huh. They changed it. This is totally different than what it used to be. Alright, well, hang on. Let's see. We can see. Let's see. Is it account issue? Mm. Oh. Billing. Uh -uh. It used to be here, landing somewhat. And... I just, let me see, can, no, you have to pick one. Hmm, before it used to be land. Hmm. Damn you, second life, changing things. Uh, technical questions. Hang on one second. Let me look into this and I'll get right back to you. 
Okay, so it turns out you need to be a premium member to access these options. So I had to go and sign on to my premium account and then sign in and then we got more options. So when you go to submit the ticket, you have land and region and then you type in abandoned land and then they ask you what's the name of the region where the abandoned land is located. So you would come back into here and you say at the top what the name is. Don't put in the parcel ID. They don't want that. They just want the name of the place. So it is uh, Luca Cien. Luca Cien. Okay, you would copy the name of the region, post it in here. Then you would post the Slorel of where you're standing. So you could just go to map, copy the Slorel. Then you go to submit the ticket and you would say, I would like to buy. And then you put in how much, you know, X amount of how much region of this place you want to buy. I would like to buy, uh, let's say, 1024 meters of this parcel. And then you would attach a screen, a file. You would need to take a screenshot of the land and show them where you want your store to be now there's two things about this that I want to make a note of you can either be a person who takes a square so I'm gonna angle my camera up so that I'm getting a bird's eye view and press my screen print I'm using light shot so always the thing so here is the region here and you want to make sure that you get in a picture of the region lines that way they know where you are and in reference to the picture okay so you know give them as much details as you can and then you would use the square and you would say I want 1024 of this land and put that here right there so that you can buy that square this would leave all of this part of the land for any future neighbors or expanding that you want to have so you're in that corner or if you don't want to you can come over here uh, to this corner and do the same thing or you can be one of those type of people who will say I want 1024 of the land right here in the middle this will kind of make it a little awkward for people around you because either A, you're going to find somebody who's going to buy all the land around you and just put stuff here and box you in. So uh, I have seen this happen. <laughs> Someone bought the middle of the sim that I used to be at and then just put nothing but horrible naked dancing people all around their store and then they had shut down and then that's how they... Uh, grabbed them and bought that square land and owned the region for like three months before they couldn't afford it and then abandoned it all over again. So you can do that or you can uh, just put where you want it. So let's for the sake of being a decent human being grab the corner right here and you know you can say this is where I want you to cut the sim. You will hit the disk and save. Save it to your desktop and then attach the file and then put the picture in there like this like that and then you hit submit and then you'll wait a couple of days for Linden Labs to contact you um, if it's not a holiday or a weekend or a natural disaster uh, they usually contact you in like three days to two days to a week and then if they don't say that it's, it has to go to auction they'll either put it to auction or sell it directly to you and you can just buy your land right there and it would be one L per every square meter so then you would have your land and then you can start building so that's a little trick oh what is this I have no idea who this is Oh, hi. Sorry, I was... Okay. Alright, well, I'll talk to that guy in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so, um... I forgot what I was saying. Now, 
one of the things that I really like about using, um, yes, I want to close you. One of the things that I really like about using abandoned land and buying this is the billing. And I'll talk more about paying for things and the next, you know, like monthly payments and all the rest of that jazz next video because we're already at the 20 minute mark and I need to cut it short because I think we finished up a topic. So now that we have our land, so now that, I feel like that song, now that we found love, what are we gonna do? It's not love. Now that we found land, what are we gonna do? with it <laughs> we're gonna open up a store that's what we're gonna do with it so let's talk about that in our next video about putting down a store getting those cheap fixtures and put it out advertisements you know throwing the flyers around so people can find your store so that's our next video and hopefully it's gonna be our last video on the topic and I'll throw in some little tidbits that I learned along the way about land and money and junk so see you guys in the next video and I hope this is helping you so far <laughs>